I, I, I just, I had an amazing career, uh, amazing, and it all started at Hoyle Community College. That was it. Um, I didn't know why I was going to Hoyle Junior College, but thank God I did. Because I'm probably the oldest living member of the former Hoyle Junior College. Wanting to, on record, record stories and experiences with people who are closest to the institution. Um, we had unbelievable professors, Dr. Bob Heeman, Dr. Ellis from Mount Holyoke, uh, Stuart Lee Garrison from New Hampshire. The interesting part about it was that this was a period in time when male chauvinism was a big discussion among women, and I never once felt it at the college. And that's how I felt, very welcomed and um, appreciated and um, Learning. so. But that I was interrupted in serving in Korea. I went to the Korean War, came back, so it took me five years for a two-year college. I always brag about that. <laughs> As an example of the military implication really is critical to the history of, as I perceive, Hoya Junior College. So now I'm entering Hoya Junior College, you know, with that frame of mind. And I think people in Holyoke were just going to not let Springfield have something that they didn't have. One word that you can think of that best describes Olio Junior College, Olio Community College. Welcoming, inclusive, but uh, uh, an inclusive welcoming, if I could use two words. I need two words too. <laughs> <laughs> um, accessibility and inclusiveness. Before it's time. And that's, if you really think about it, that's significant. How fortunate we were in Hoyle to have a guy by the name of George Frost. One word uh, that immediately comes to mind for looking at the community college and all aspects of the community college is outstanding. But I'm so grateful for your willingness to go down memory lane together and think about some of these early experiences because those roots of HCC exist today. This is not only a benefit to you, but to hear stories that we haven't heard before. It's a benefit to us.